I'm singing, 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 I'm sing
Yes, Jesus is so good, the reason for the season. Merry Christmas to every one of us. Happy New Year to us as we pray to cross this Jordan of 2018 to enter our promised land, 2019, by His grace and mercy. All the way from Houston, Texas, this is your very own as usual, Jesse of Sisters True Love Group International, where we preach love and we give love and we show love. That's all we do. So stay tuned. Let's crack some joke and let's encourage one another. Let's put some smile on somebody's face as usual and remind someone to take a break for this Christmas. It's all about Jesus. For those of us that are not Christians, there is somebody up there that you respect and worship. May this season bring us all joy and peace and above all things, focus for the year to come in Jesus' name. The topic of today, thank you, Admin Wong, for posting that, is the rose of alcoholism in our society. As you all can tell, it's Christmas time. And most of us will see Christmas as the time to eat, drink, you know, exchange gifts, have fun with family members, husbands and wives, children, you know, a time to bond closer to your loved ones. And at the same time, this is time where people drink out of the ordinary. It's also a time where teenagers, adults, wives and men drink, and guess what? Through alcoholism, a lot of things happen this Christmas. So we want to make awareness. We just want to give a little bit of open eyes, let's say hands off, towards this Christmas and all that comes with Christmas. In the spirit of celebration, may we also be conscious of excessive drinking for this Christmas. Thank you guys for joining me. God bless you. Please invite someone else, share, share, share. We're talking about the roles of alcoholism in our society this Christmas time. Let's just give an open eye to most of us who has forgotten the danger and the effect of alcoholism in our society, especially this Christmas time. Some people who have never drank before will want to test drinking this Christmas time. We're not saying alcohol or drinking is a bad thing. No, that's not what we're preaching here. I'm not saying don't drink because it's Christmas. No, that's not what I said. I'm saying let's be conscious and be careful with the amount of drinking that we're going to drink this Christmas. Alcoholism has been a very dangerous tool to most families globally. Alcoholism has destroyed some family members. Alcoholism has killed some people, innocent souls. Alcoholism has destroyed individuals' lives. Alcoholism have taken people from one mental status to different mental status that they can never come out of anymore. Be it educated, non-educated, young and old, you know, women and men, it doesn't matter. Alcoholism has played a vital, dangerous role in people's life. And I'm telling you, this time of the year, the essence of alcoholism is going to increase at least by 10% based on statistics and it's very dangerous. That being said, if we say alcoholism this Christmas or this Mba month, let's say celebration month, September, October, November, December, at th this end of the year, the, the level of alcoholism people are taking is also the level of death affected by alcohol, alcohol people. So we just want to bring to light, you know, to touch base with our loved ones globally, everyone watching me. I just want to talk about alcoholism. It's something that most people don't want to discuss. And some people are really affected by this, but they cover it up like, oh no, I'm just an occasional drinker. 
But let me just bring to light things that alcohol can do to us. And before then, if you need help after this series and you think that you're one of those that are drinking and you want to make some amendment, I'm going to put some phone numbers where you can call to get some help online 24 hours, seven days a week. You guys hold on for me. Let me just take this call. you guys stay tuned for me don't go out of the facebook just stay tuned for a second i'll be right back Yes, guys, I'm sorry. Oh my god, thank you all for joining me. Oh my god, uh -huh. it's coming on your way. Thank you guys for joining me. Present general is Jesus. Among the nation. All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry for the quick break, but I'm back as usual. 
So we're talking about alcoholism this Christmas and the effect of alcoholism in our society. So if you have time, admin one, please post one 800 1-800-504-5360. Please put that number for me. For those who want to call to ask questions, you know, some guys and ladies, they drink so much. Thank you, Admin One, for that. The number is there for you to call, ask questions about your drinking habit if you need help, and somebody will be there to help you. Okay, drinking, drinking, drinking. Someone in our family, your family, or someone you know, a friend, a co-worker, might be dealing with alcoholism. And you and I know that they drink overboard more than expected. We need to get them some help. Call that number or give him or her the number to call. The Center for Disease, CDC, Center for Disease Control and the Alcohol Related Disorder Impacts Application, reports that about 88,000 deaths in the United States are attributed to alcohol use every year. This is statistics proven by Center for Disease Control. Alcoholism-related deaths in the United States every year is about 88,000 individuals being killed by drunkards. And Christmas is coming. Most of us are waiting, even when you don't drink, you're anticipating Christmas time, I'm going to drink, whatever. No, but we want you to drink and be safe. If you don't know who has been killed accidentally by an alcoholism, you will not understand. You know, when we give statistics, because it's not affecting you directly, you think it's a joke, but it's for real. Can you imagine 88,000 people dying every year because of people drinking and driving? It's very deadly. Don't say, thank God it's not my family. It could have been the other way around. So if you're among those who are drinking and driving or drinking and thinking it's fun, we need to control our drinking habit this Christmas. The National Council on Alcoholism and Drug Dependence reports that 36 people die every day and about 700 are injured due to accidents caused by drivers who are under the influence of alcohol. Can you imagine that? The National Institute on Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism, NIAAA, reports that about 17% of men and 8% of women in the United States would develop an alcohol use disorder at some point in their lives. Let's talk about the teen, the young adult, the age of 16, to 18, let's say 21, 22. Teen alcohol use is a deadly problem happening across the country. This is not about United States only. And according to the Mothers Against Drug Driving, MADD, more than 4,700 people die every year because of teen use of alcohol. Young kids are drinking. You are drinking as a dad. Your son is drinking. Your wife is drinking. Everybody in the family have fun drinking. But do you see that the effect of alcohol can hit any one of us? It could be your child. It could be you, your wife, your brother, your sister, relatives. Don't say it's not me. This is globally proven. And we have to be careful on the amount of alcoholism that we we'll take this Christmas. Christmas is supposed to be the birth of Christ. Where we exchange gifts, you know, to our loved ones and families, come closer to eat together, pray together, you know, nurture the kids and teach them the value of love, especially this Christmas time. But most people take it as the time to drink and get drunk and drink and drink. 
We need to be very, very careful. If you are not drinking and your brother is drinking, guess what? You are going out there and you don't explain things to these young ones or your wife or anyone who can drink and drive and they think it's safe. You'll be surprised. That's what I tell people, you know, when I hear that people drank and the swimming, they drank and all that, they died, these issues, it was far away from me. But when it happened directly to me, then the whole story turned around. Let's take precautions before we say, had we know. Drug use and health found that more than 15 million Americans over the age of 18 were living with an alcohol use disorder and about 623,000 young people between the ages of 12 and 18 were struggling as well. The ages of 12 and 18 are also struggling with alcoholism. Can you all imagine that? You can get this fast at the Centers for Disease Control website about alcoholism and its effects in our society in general. It's something that would find funny and, you know, like a simple lifestyle, let me drink. After all, my friends are drinking, why can't I drink? But the effect of it is really devastating. It's destroying a lot, of, a lot of families. People are dying every day. You go out there, you have to pray for your life. You could be a very good driver, but guess what, the next one, car close to you it's a drunk driver you have to pray every day for god to see us through this christmas is not the time to drink and get deadly drinking you know thinking is part of fun no this christmas time let's come closer as families and friends and touch lives don't say i'm telling you not to drink no 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 i drink once in a while in our home probably before i go to bed a cup of wine but I cannot drink a cup of wine and start driving because my brain is very light. I won't be able to see. We need to nurture the spirit of Christmas. You know, I hear people saying, oh my God, let me drink this weekend, drink myself to death because it's Christmas time. That's crazy. And they drink going to clubs and they drive with the influence of alcoholism. It's so sad. Can we encourage someone this Christmas to reach out? The money we use to drink alcohol every day, <laughs> if we use it to touch the people that are in need, we'll be blessed. Not only that alcoholism can cause accidents and kill people, you know, can you imagine a husband getting drunk and beating the wife up to death? When you are an alcoholic, you know, you drink so much that you're thinking, is being controlled by the alcohol, the influence of alcohol. Then your mental status will be shifted from who you are to something else. These people who drink are very high tempered. They can't control it. When they drink and get angry, they can put the roof down. There's too many dangers in drinking this Christmas. Some women drink so much that they can't even function in the house to take care of their kids. And these children start drinking because they see parents drinking. Alcohol is not only affecting the society, let's say, outside the world. It's not only drunk drivers that are in danger, but people who drink in the homes. Alcoholism has been proven to increase the level of domestic violence, you know, for men and women who overdrink and then being controlled by the influence of alcohol in the family. Some people have eventually ended up killing the whole of their families because they were controlled by alcohol. And when the alcoholism clears in their brain, guess what? They start regretting. But what can we do when things have fallen apart and center cannot hold? Let the birth of Jesus Christ bring us to the level of changing our lifestyles. Let the birth of Jesus Christ bring us to closeness among each other. Let this Christmas bring us out of some characters and some things that we used to do that are not beneficial to us. Let it bring us out to the broad light of reality of life. Drinking and over drinking is a problem. When most people drink, they don't think straight. 
Not only that you will kill someone driving with the influence of alcohol or domestic violence, guess what? Drinking is so deadly. It's so deadly that once some people drink, their head is affected. Every organ in the body is affected when you heavily drink. And I had a friend of mine was talking to her last two days ago, and she told me, Jesse, oh, drinking is not bad. After all, Jesus turned water into wine. I was like, hello, for you? So because Jesus turned water into wine, now we have to get to drink. If not, if it's bad, why would Jesus do that? We're not saying you should not drink now. All we're saying is that we should control the level of alcohol that we take. Anything that will change your mindset from who you are to act differently is not healthy for you. Neither is it healthy for me. Whatsoever that you eat that controls your behavior and your thinking faculty, then that is against who you are. It is a problem. When you say stuff out of the influence of something that you have eaten, not just drinking only, People who smoke, some of them smoke because it controls their temper. If you are using that to be a, a defense mechanism against your characters, then that's a problem. Because if we don't have cigarettes for you to smoke at the time when you're pissed off, you can pull up the roof and you can kill. So those things that are affecting our health and the way we think and the way we do things, that's not what it is, alcohol, smoking, whatever, any kind of food or any kind of character, or you have to go and cheat on your wife or something for you to control your temper, those things are not healthy for you, regardless of what it is. So it's Christmas time. I'm not going to be on Facebook too much today. I just want to encourage us. Stay away from excessive heavy drinking this Christmas for safety. Can you imagine if every one of us would try to control the level of things that we'll do? the world will be a better place. The world we live in will be a better place. And you'll be surprised, you will say, oh, and I'm not the only one that will change. Millions of people, they can't change. But if you can change, you can save somebody else's life. Charity begins at home. We we'll all have responsibilities concerning the way we make decisions in life. Don't worry about how I'm going to live my life. I want you to think about you your loved ones, and all that. Life is personal. It's full of rules and regulations. It's either you follow it or you don't. And nobody's forcing no one not to drink. But all we we'll do, we we'll give a little bit of tip what is happening and the consequences of some decisions that we we'll make individually. May the Lord help us this Christmas. And as you enjoy your Christmas, do not forget the less privileged ones around you. This is what we we'll preach at Sisters True Love Group International. Please share this video, invite someone else, go to our YouTube at Sisters True Love Group, YouTube, subscribe, go to our website, encourage us, and please be an advocate for the less privileged for this Christmas, and the Lord will bless you. Don't say you don't have enough, because nobody does have enough in this life. Every one of us are struggling for one thing or the other. But may the Lord make provision for us in Jesus' name. I just wanted to say hello today to my wonderful fans, people like you, and that will continue, continue to bring us, you know, some statistics. I am not gonna go in depth with this alcoholism today because I have some guests in my house right now. And I have to do some CPR teaching after that. So a little bit busy today, but the Lord is good. I just want to tell us that I love you guys. And uh, I wish every one of you Merry Christmas and a very prosperous New Year. And tomorrow, by His grace, we'll continue the topic of alcoholism. And uh, hopefully, our Christmas will be merry. And then next week, we'll talk about the reason for the season, the meaning of Christmas, and all that follows Christmas, so that people will not get it twisted. You are stay blessed, stay out of trouble, and don't forget the less privileged ones around you. You might not have the money, but go to hospitals and pray for those who are going to be sleeping in the hospital on the Christmas night. 
Call somebody who is broken around you and encourage them. Visit someone who have nobody to visit them. Pray for those who need the prayers that you might not even know. Pray for countries that are going through war. Pray for those that have lost their loved ones this year, people like me. Remember me in your prayers for the grace of God. Pray for the pregnant women. Pray for the married ones. Pray for the divorcees. Pray for anyone for God to see us through as we journey through the end of this 2018 to 2019. May the grace of God be sufficient for us. That's just what I want to discuss today, alcoholism. I will carry the topic up tomorrow and then I can break it more. Right now, I have so much things lining up. So we're going to discuss alcoholism in depth from tomorrow. Stay tuned and God bless you. As you join me, please share and the Lord will always, always, always bless you. All the way from Houston, Texas, this is your very own Jesse as usual of Sister True Love Group. Shouting out to every one of you. Merry Christmas and prosperous New Year. You have a blessed and wonderful day. And my sister, Sister Rita of Sister True Love Group, Happy birthday to you today. Her birthday is today. We can't wait to celebrate you. No matter how small the gift will be, we know that the Lord has given you the biggest gift of life. You are still breathing in the land of the living. And that is the most important thing. Happy birthday to you, lovely sister. Enjoy your day and more many healthy years to come. In Jesus' name, from Houston, Texas. Sister Rita, I shout out to you and I dedicate the day for you. Happy birthday to you. Love you, love you. Bye, everyone.